Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Connor, and today I'm going to be doing a book review on Every Heart of Doorway by Shauna McGuire. This book was nominated for the 2017 BookTube SFF Awards in the short fiction category, and I'm going to tell you what my thoughts are today. So if you guys don't know, this book follows this school, I guess, technically, that this woman named Eleanor West put together, and she collects certain types of people to this school. She collects people that have gone to these different worlds through different portals into Fairyland and Candyland and the Underworld and different versions of these places on all of these different types of adventures that after their adventure was over they were kicked out of those lands and are back in the real world and have to deal with the consequences of having been to these other places and on these magical adventures and having to readjust to being in the real world and how do you deal with that and how do you go back to having a normal life. A lot of these people have been changed because of those adventures and now their families feel like they're not even the same people anymore because they're not. It picks up when this girl named Nancy ends up going to the school because she went away as a very normal-ish child, normal-seeming child, and then she came back and she is very upset about being back and she wants to go back to her magical world that she was in before. As usual with my book reviews, I'm going to go through my pros, go through my cons, give you my rating, and be done. My first pro for this is just the concept in general. It's something that I've always been curious about. You read all these fantastical stories of children and people going to these different worlds and then they end up coming back and that's the end of the story. But in this, that's not the end of the story, that's really the beginning because now they're back and they have to deal with all of that and deal with the fact that they've changed when the people around them think that they've only been gone for, I don't know, a month. In reality, they've lived an entire life in this other world. And it kind of makes me think about how Frodo, this is so lame, but Frodo, how he goes on his journey and then he comes back and he tries to adjust to living in the Shire again and it just doesn't work because he's experienced all these things and the people around him don't understand. I just love the concept of this book and exploring the people that have to go through that. I thought the author did a very good job of setting up this whole school and this world as well because she really defines the different worlds and the different types of worlds. So there's different directions of worlds. So there's like the happy worlds versus the not so happy worlds. And then there's different sub categories of those two and I really enjoyed learning about the different categories and the different ways of defining these worlds that the people have gone in and I liked seeing that all of the children and all of the people all experience slightly different things and they can relate to each other on the level of leaving the world and then having to come back but they have to work a little bit harder to understand each other fully because every single person has experienced something different. Even if they've gone to the same world, their experience was completely different. Another pro for me is that I really liked the characters of this book. The main character, Nancy, I really enjoyed learning about her and I think that a lot of the other characters were also super interesting and I think that the sequel to this book is coming out soon and it follows a different character that's in here. I don't know if that's actually correct, but I do believe that's the case and so I'm really excited to learn more about the characters as the series goes along because they are very interesting and well-rounded and I could believe that these people have gone to those places and now are, you know, upset that they're back. With the characters, some of them represent different LGBT groups. The main character, Nancy, is asexual, and which means she falls somewhere on the ace arrow spectrum. It really goes into her anxiety when it comes to interacting with people her own age when they think that she might possibly receive reciprocate some type of sexual desire when in reality that's just not there for her. That's just not how she is. And so it goes through her having to interact with people and how to tell people and worrying about how people are going to react and everything like that. So I really liked that representation. Another character is transgender, female to male, and that whole thing was really well done as well. I really liked the exploration of a character being transgender in a portal fantasy and what happens with that and everything like that. So that was definitely an A+. plus. Really liked those. I liked the plot as well. I found it very compelling. Once the story really got going, I just kept reading and kept reading and kept reading because I wanted to know what was happening. And once the like mystery elements start happening because some bad things start to happen and you're trying to figure out who's causing all these bad things and what the next bad thing could possibly be. So I really liked trying to figure all those things out and it definitely kept me engaged. And also something that I wasn't expecting with the mystery element was that it's kind of a horror book a little bit. I was a little shocked with the graphicness of it. So I really liked that as well. Because as for my cons, I feel like this book wrapped up a little bit too quickly. Once we figured out what was going on, it pretty much just ended like right after that. So I wish that there were some more 
exploration of the characters after figuring everything out and everything like that. It is a novella, so that's kind of annoying me requesting that there be more in the story, but I do believe that this would have benefited from having some more time to develop the mystery part and then after that was solved the resolution of all of those things. I think that that could have been expanded a little bit. And with that there was just something about it that kept me from giving it five stars. I see a lot of people talk about the pacing of it and that could possibly be it. That If the second half of the book had been extended and been more thoroughly fleshed out I think that I would have ended up giving this book five stars, but I did still really enjoy it. I ended up giving it four stars. I definitely recommend it. So if you haven't checked it out, definitely do come talk to us in the Goodreads group about it, which I'll leave all the booktube SFF stuff down in the description. You can check it out. That's going to be my review on Every Heart of Doorway by Shauna McGuire. If you, if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and comment down below if you had similar feelings about this as I did. Did you not like it? What did you like about it? What didn't you like about it? Let's have a conversation down in the comments and I will talk to you guys next time.